welcome back to Royalty Soaps. Do you notice anything different about the video already? Like, how about the fact that there are not two big black bars on the side of my head? That's because somebody finally upgraded her camera to one that is big and fancy. This is also the video in which I say hello to my biggest fans, Wyatt, Jack, and Emmett. Hi guys! Thanks so much for watching me. I really, really appreciate it. Your mom has a lot of sweet things to say about you, and I will be sending you guys some goodies at the end of the video. So without further ado, let's get started on our project today. So I've sectioned out uh, blue and light blue and white. We're gonna mix up white first. And you remember I always put little, a little bit of sprinkle of white in the other colors. <laughs> All right, there's the white. Now we're gonna mix these just real quick. Just enough to get the titanium dioxide in. All right, now this blue is from TKB and I can't remember the name of it actually. Let's do this one first. This is neon blue and it's already hard in there. How dare you? Eh. Don't you just hate when that happens? Okay. Watch how pretty it is when I mix it. See, isn't that pretty? Alright, now for this one. Okie dokie. We're ready to pour in the molds and to put the embeds in. Pouring white in first. And we're just going to do a very thin layer because we're going to mix some of the blue. Like I said, very, very thin layer. We'll mix in the blue and then we'll pour, I mean, uh, we'll pull a uh, blender whisk through it. And I wish I could tell you measurements for how much each thing is supposed to be, but y'all know how I am. I don't really measure anything, I just kind of eyeball it, so that's probably not very helpful for you at all. <laughs> But y'all could see about how much I had in there. All right, so there's the white. Now for the dark blue. Now here's my whisk. I'm gonna pour this blue in, just like this. Kind of just put it all around. Make sure you get it on the edges. Okay, so y'all y'all see how that looks. There we go. Now we're going to take my little whiskey thing and we're just going to kind of mess it up. Just like that. Just mess it up. It's going to make it pretty. I promise. Now that I have messed it up, I'm going to put a layer of this blue. But first I have to mix up the white a little more. I've mixed up my white and now I'm going to put just a little bit of mica. All right I've let everything sit a little while so that putting this next part on will probably not sink in. And should just glide right on top. Now we're going to put the gold embeds inside. These are regular melt and pour. They're actually low sweat melt and pour but pretty close. Especially um, if you get low sweat from different companies uh, they act different ways. Just gonna put these in. How's everybody doing today? I hope you're doing fabulous and lovely and wonderful. I'm just gonna put all these in here like so pretty randomly. 
They're gold on the outside and they're white on the inside. Okay, it says my camera's running out of battery already. Probably because I was messing with it earlier. Um, now, I'm going to, I, as you can see, I put white on it and then I put some dark blue on it. Now I'm going to put a little more light blue just across the top like this. And then I'm going to pull the whisk through it again. And I'm going to try not to go too deep because, of course, I have put the embeds in there and we don't want to move those. So I'll just give these a quick bang and pull the whisk through them. And then I will probably stop filming, okay? So then I'll keep adding it just like I've been adding it. Oops, sorry, I know I'm moving you. I'll keep adding it like I've been adding it until it's all filled up. I'll put a little more white, then I'll put a little more blue. And so on. So you won't be missing much. Alright, I'm about to start piping. In the meantime, here is the Atico 849 tip that I will be using. I will also be taking my Aztec Gold Mica and I'm going to be rubbing it with castor oil on the inside. So I've mixed it up with castor and the reason why I'm using castor and not a different kind of oil is because it's thick and this way it will stick to the sides of my piping bag better. If you use a runny oil like um, sweet almond oil or olive oil or something like that it's not going to stick as well and you you actually want it to stick this time for the type of design I'm going to be making here so I'm just gonna kind of pour this in here randomly just like that so after you've poured it in randomly just like that start smearing it all around so you see I'm getting it pretty much everywhere. You want it all over the inside of the piping bag. Then once you've done that, that's when you can start putting your color inside. Alright, here we go. Now, I have made my piping bag. See my piping bag? Okay. And now we're going to start piping the tops here. I think I'm going to try to put three. You can see the gold coming out. And these will be pretty tall. I find I can get the soap piping taller if I have it a little bit runnier. So this is a little bit runnier than I normally do. You would think it would sink down a little bit. For, for some reason it just kills some of the fluffy. I don't really know why. And now some of the blue is starting to come out. Oh, it's blue and gold, which is really nice. And it kind of faded into that, which was the point, because I didn't want every bar to look the same. This is a, a handmade soap here. We don't want all of them looking exactly the same. I have now finished all of the bars. So here is one loaf, here is the other loaf, and here is the one you guys saw me doing. Isn't that a cool ombre? It just kind of fades into blue. That's very, very unique. I haven't ever really had one that did that. So yeah, kind of cool. Now I'm going to put some more on the top. I've put the blue on top, as you can see. And now I'm going to start putting these little pretty things on. So on the edges, I always face it inside. Because when you cut the bar, I don't always cut the edges off. It depends on how much room I have. So just to play it safe, I turn it towards what's going to be the pretty side. And then the rest of them I make them face the a different direction. And I'm just 
taking these and I'm doing a crown and then a crest and then a crown and then a crest. And I am just overjoyed with how these have turned out. I really am. I will have, let's see, nine of these available for you guys pretty soon at the beginning of May. So behold, I give you the updated version of the King Orion soap. This one is really, really pretty. Look how thin those embeds are. And this is kind of what it looks like from up here. I love that ombre, man. That's just cool. Okay. So, I hope you all enjoyed the making of this. I will come back with Mum and cut them tomorrow. Good morning, everybody. We are back. I have sprayed the tops of these with 90% rubbing alcohol. And we shall begin the cutting. Now, I've cut a few bars already. And what I've learned from this batch is to get the little embeds in quicker. I pretty much could have told you that yesterday, but um, I was actually able to see this morning that they didn't completely cover. So here's what it looks like. I used the exact same blue here as I did up here, but this one was more exposed to the air and it turned a lot of color and also kind of ashed on top. This color is prone to ashing. Well, I hope everybody enjoyed the video and liked the new camera. Please give it a big thumbs up. Oh, where did this come from? I remember Wyatt and Jack. Remember how I said I was gonna give you something at the end of the video? Well, it just so happens that I had a very, very small sliver here that I would normally give to my mom, but as you guys are my biggest fans, what if I just sent it to you? I also happen to have too many cupcake soaps that don't have a home, and what if I sent those along, and I'll send two of them so you don't have to share? Like I said, I'm still learning with the new camera. I know that some of it was a little bit shaky, some of it was slightly out of focus. Don't worry, I'm doing my very, very, very best to figure out the right way to film and to make sure that everything looks good and doesn't shake and blah 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 so videos should get better as we go along. I thank you all very much for watching and if you thought I was cool or funny or my soap was awesome or I'm beautiful or all of the above you can just hit the big subscribe button at the end of the video and then you'll get updates on when I post new ones. So until next time I say bye for now and thanks for watching Royalty Soaps.